you became insulin sensitive by accident, right? And that's actually fascinating because uh, I also feel that way to a certain extent. When I changed my lifestyle back in the year 2003, uh, I also became rapidly insulin sensitive and I had a feeling that it was going to work, but it worked 10 X better than I thought it was actually going to work. And then I actually ended up putting myself back to school similarly to you so that I could go learn this science of why it was happening. Right. And so I, I tell myself like, oh, whoops, this happened by accident, kind of by accident. And the truth is that, um, what you were doing and what I was doing is exactly that. We were we were making the best decisions that we could make at that time. And we were coming home with a little bit more knowledge. We were getting a little bit smarter. And now we had to figure out like, well, wait a minute. Wait, why is this working? Hold on a second. Let me go backwards and try and figure out like, is there research about this? Or am I just like some random freak of nature that happens to be very insulin sensitive? And maybe, you know, maybe there's no research about it. So it's kind of interesting that like you, you, you know, you were following your dad's advice and you maybe didn't even know it at the time and you magically became very insulin sensitive. Yeah. Freak of nature. I think I was willing to accept that because up until that point, my life was just like, what now? <laughs> like, How hard is this going to be? Is this going to make any sense or not? And what's so interesting is it. If you sometimes when you look at your own timeline, you trace things back to why am I learning what I'm learning right now? What kind of a lesson is in my face in this moment? We're always dealing with stuff like that. And I was within my first semester, I went to a conference, somebody was speaking, it was sort of plant based related. And lo and behold, I end up sitting next to someone who became my mentor. And she was a dietitian and a diabetes educator who had gone into the plant based lifestyle a few years earlier on her own choice. She did not have diabetes. And she sat down next to me. I had a plate full of, of carbohydrates, but it was a plate full of fiber. And I was going to eat all of that. And I wasn't going to feel bad about it because I knew what that food was doing for me. And when she sat down next to me and said, I'm a diabetes educator, I thought, here comes the lecture. She's going to look at my plate and say, what's with all the carbs? And she actually said, I know what's happening to you. Well, actually, as this prompt, let me prompt this by saying, I told her eating this way is really helping me. And I'm here to find out why, because I don't understand it. And she said, I know why you're more insulin sensitive. It's because of the fiber. And she could have blown me out of my chair. I had no idea what exactly what she was talking about. I heard of this fiber thing growing up somewhat, but not so clinically. And she pretty much dropped a stack of research on me within the next month or two. And that's when I started to get kind of enlightened in the clinical world that, wow, this is a thing. How come I don't know about it? How come I never knew? And that was it. That was kind of the beginning of the greater picture of how I got here. Okay. I think the, the key word that you just said there is science, right? You went through a process to learn the science intentionally and you took that science and you uh, mixed it in with your own personal experience. And you personalize the whole process to say, okay, well, this is what the research world knows. This is what Lauren knows. And now I can make sense of it because yes, I have experienced this. This was my, you know, this was my personal experience. And this is how it relates specifically to what the scientific world has discovered. And that's really the key because what you're doing is you're taking, uh, you know, rigorous evidence-based science and you're saying, how does this relate to me? That's ultimately what most people care about, right? That's what I cared about. That's what you cared about. That's what Kylie cares about. That's what every single person who's going through this process cares about, right? How does this work for me?